Hello and welcome to this quick summary of our poster on multilingual and low resource named Entity Recognition at the third annual WE CNLP Summit. We are Peter Martini and Chobancho Mishra from Twitter and me Rami Iskander from Columbia University. Named Entity Recognition or NER is the process of identifying and tagging entities in text as we see in the examples here in English, French and Hindi. Supervised learning approaches require manually annotated data, which is costly and time-consuming. The data might not be even accessible for some low-resource languages. Therefore, we do unsupervised multilingual learning, which doesn't require labeled data or linguistic knowledge. Also, it allows to build a single model for several related languages and supports the rapid growth of NLP applications for low-resource languages. We apply three main approaches, dictionary-based, zero-shot model transfer, and ensemble methods. In the dictionary-based approach, we use the cross-lingual entities in the multilingual knowledge graph, Wikidata as a lookup. We first load the entities into a try, and then to tag a sentence, we iterate over the words in fixed window sizes, where for each window, we search the try for the longest prefix, that is an entity. This yields linear memory and time complexity. Next, we use our lookups to tag tweets and form training sets, both monolingual and multilingual, where we combine the data of 66 languages. We also experiment with the addition of the Wikipedia-based datasets of Wikian. We also expand our datasets by considering different casing options and lengths of entities. Finally, we use bidirectional LSTM to train our NER models. We also experiment zero-shot model transfer, where we apply the model of a related language on the target text. In addition, we apply ensemble techniques using maximum voting and Bayesian-based voting, both on the token and entity levels. We try several design alternatives in our experiments, such as different data sizes, different embedding types, and different ways to extract the labels from wiki data. Here are the entity-based micro-average F1 scores for nine languages on public benchmarks. Our work can allow identifying popular named entities in social media corpora across multiple languages. The multilingual approach yields the best performance in three languages, while the addition of WikiN usually helps. The results encourage further research in the multilingual direction and without the use of labeled data. Thank you.